Hello, my name is Stephanie Kifowit. I'm currently the state representative of the 84th district and I'm talking to you today a little bit about myself and a little bit about what I've accomplished over the past couple of years that I've been a state representative. First and foremost, I served in the United States Marine Corps for four years active duty right out of high school. And if anything, that's the best thing I could have done because after that, I was able to attend Northern Illinois University. I got my undergraduate degree in political science and I also got my master's degree in public administration, so I certainly value what our higher education, especially our state universities, have to offer for students because without it, I don't know where I'd be right now. Currently, this month, September, I just celebrated my 20th year of marriage to my husband, Steve, that I met at Northern Illinois University. My husband is also a veteran. He's a veteran of the United States Army, so we have a veteran family, and I have two children, my daughter, who has graduated high school, and my son, who's a freshman, at, at, in high school right now. So definitely education is really important to us. As a state representative, I worked on many bills, many things of legislation that has come from you, the community, such as the Autism Awareness Card, which helps individuals with autism. And I'm also chairman of the Veteran Suicide Task Force to be there for our veterans that need it the most. I have not taken a state pension. I don't have state plates on my car. And I haven't even taken a cup of coffee from a lobbyist in all my years in Springfield, which has only been a few. And so I want to assure you that there are no special influences influencing me except for the families and the children of the district and making sure that our state can be headed in the right direction for our future generation and also for the frail elderly, the people with disabilities, and those that need it the most. We need to be there for our children and we need to be there for our vulnerable and we definitely need to be there for our veterans. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate it and I hope to have your support in November.